Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the capturing group and a non-capturing group. Here in the cheat sheet, you will be able to observe capturing group and a non-capturing group. Let's try to see it. So in our previous session, we have understood about the grouping concept. So what is this exactly groups are? For example, let's say that we are having a date format like this. So we try to write the regular expression for this one using the grouping so there is nothing but so you can mention something like d so which will be of for year mentioning you will be having this one so we will be mentioning in one group okay and we'll have another one to mention the delimiter something like so it should be having this one land dot and again you will be having a d so which should be something like one comma two and here you will be having again hyphen dot and you can mention again d so which should be of something like one comma two so this is somewhat we have used and we have added delimiter also okay so these things also we have added it okay we call it as an anchors anchor expression also we had it the starting and the ending now let's say that here what are the groups here so we can say this one as one group and here we can say it another group and this is a third group so one two three three groups are there by default in the regular expression the groups are captured groups if you try to implement this one in our javascript so for example let's try to see i will try to show you again which we have implemented previously so let regular expression is equal to so this is the regular expression we have Let's try to see this one. Okay. Okay. So let's say that we are having this one. Now. So that one is an escaping thing. Okay, fine. So let's let's say that we are having a regular expression. Here we are having three groups. That is first one. The second one and the third one so now if you try to use so let date is equal to 2022-03-02 let's try to use it and regular expression dot exec okay of date we try to use it this one so now we are able to get captured group something like 2022-03 and 2 so here we are able to get the index so there is nothing but year month and date how we are trying to get it because of this group so we are grouping this year month and the date so that it is able to get we are able to get it in the index thing so one two and three for example let's say that here i will try to group this one also let's say that i am trying to group this delimiter also let's try to use this one so now i will try to use this one so here if you try to see here now we are able to get another one in the index that is nothing but high one why because we added this one as a group so that means how the javascript is able to capture the groups this month year and date is using this grouping nature okay by default i want to tell you that by default the groups are uh, the groups are captured groups so we can also do it with a non-captured groups if i want to do it with a non-captured group what i can do is let's say that i am having a regular expression so let's try to get this regular expression and here you can mention in a such a way that question mark column okay so then this is a group but this is a non-capturing group so by default regular expressions are capture groups but we can make a group as a non-capture group by using question mark and column at the starting so now if i try to use this one so to this one now see so we are having this delimiter as a non-captured group but we are able to uh, as a as a group but we are not getting in the array index so this is not capturing so this is how we will be doing so let's try to implement this one in our regex pal so here we are having this one so let's say try to say that we are having the same thing slash hyphen and dot and here i will try to use same thing slash d which should be a one comma two and here i will be having the same thing slash hyphen dot okay and here i will be using again something like slash d so one comma two so now it is able to match this one 
now if you try to observe our regular expression so here this one is repeating and here the same thing is repeating okay and here if you try to observe here this one is repeating and here this is also repeating so that means the group so the group so these are the set of this is the group which is trying to repeat it so now we can use this repeated group in our regular expression for example let's say that here the groups if you try to count it so this is the first group and this is not a group it is not in the parenthesis so we cannot consider this one as a group so first group and here this is in the second group so this is also in parenthesis we can say this is the second group now instead of writing this one so i will try to say slash two so that means i am trying to represent with a slash two now see again the match has been found now if you try to see i will try to change the date here now the date has not been matching why because it will what i can say is instead of capturing it instead of repeating the pattern it will literally repeat the actual text if if these both texts if these both words are equal then it will match it or otherwise if the both strings are different it will not match it okay so this is the thing you need to understand slash one and slash two so these things exactly repeat the pattern for example uh, sorry ex exactly repeat the text so let's try to get back our original thing i want to explain you these things so now we are able to get the output back now we can understand that so here we are repeating this one so now we can repeat the same thing so we can use this slash one and slash two concept now if we try to observe here so we are using slash so if you try to see here and if i use dot here okay if i try to use the dot so it is still not matching so why it is not matching okay i think it's a period character because of that one maybe it could be not matching let's try to see it no no that could not be the behavior why because here it is not matching is so here we are having hyphen and here we are having the dot thing so the now here what it is trying to see is so this is the problem actually we are having so we what is the thing we are trying to do here so we are writing the two literal strings and we are starting that it should be at the start and it should be at the end so it should not be like that so let's try to remove this one then you understand so now it is matching here okay so the thing what i am trying to write it here is so for example if you try to see here so these are the things we have written it right now here i am using the delimiter hyphen and sometimes i am using the delimiter dot so if i try to use the slash here also so it will be matching so what is what could be the thing so here it should not happen it like this okay so it should not happen like so if you are having a delimiter of here this is not matching right let's try to ha have instead of hyphen this one so it's thinking something as a range so let's try to keep it at the start yeah now it is fine right so now it is having sometimes the delimiter as slash and sometimes it is having the delimiter as dot so it should not repeat it it should not happen it like this either it should have a delimiter of dot or otherwise it should have an hyphen or it should have an hyphen or slash something like this so it should have either both of these things should match so now what i can do here is so i can match this one as a group okay and instead of using this one so here i can write so what is the group here one and two so here i can write slash two that's it so now if i try to use slash here so this one will not match so now the delimiter should be equal so whatever the delimiter we are using it here the same delimiter we should use it here also now this one should be having it should be a it will be a consistent so like this we can use this group now if you don't want this one as a capturing group okay if you want if you don't want this one as a captured group means you can mention this one as colon like this now entire thing has gone why because now this is not a capturing group instead of writing is slash one so the first group capturing group is this one so that means you need to mention it as slash one instead of slash two okay so like this you will be having the capturing groups so one thing you need to understand the thing the main criteria what i want to tell you is so by default the regular expressions are uh, the, uh, the group the groupings are captured groups okay so if you don't want captured groups groups okay so this is the thing so by default the groups are captured groups if you don't want this one to be captured so that means it should be a non-captured group means so then what you should do is 
it should you should mention that one using a like this inside the parenthesis you should mention with question mark and a column so this will go into a non captured group and if you want to repeat the group you can use slash one or slash two the whatever the position it is having the captured group or uh, the captured group only the captured group whatever the position you it is having so you can mention it using the slash one slash two like this so this is all about this capturing groups and the non capturing groups hope you understood about this capturing groups and the non capturing groups if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you